The Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, warning of, quote, a deepening nuclear crisis as Iran begins removing 27 cameras from their nuke site, so you can't see what's going on. Can't see what they're up to. Lisa Daftari is with us. Tell me about internal dissent in Iran. Are there some Iranians who just do not want the nuke deal and are making their views felt? Absolutely. And it's not about the nuke deal. It's about the entire regime. And the Iranian people are having their voices heard finally through citizen journalism. They are on Twitter. They're on Instagram. They're on Telegram. We see the videos. We can't say that we don't know what's going on in Iran anymore. We can't say we don't have you know, reporters on the ground anymore. The Iranian people are also telling us this is not a protest over the economy. It's not a protest over bread prices or egg prices or gas prices. And those are all problems. They understand that their government is putting money into terrorism instead of feeding the economy and doing all sorts of things you know, abroad, their nefarious activities instead of supporting the people of Iran. They're pointing their guns right at the protesters and shooting at them, peaceful well, protesters. Well, how, and they're strong, telling us. how strong is this dissent? Could it make an impact on the economy, on Iranian politics, on Iran's leadership? Does it have impact? That's the best question that you can ask because the, the Achilles heel of this government has always been the people coming out onto the streets. Because in 1979, that's how the Shah of Iran was toppled. And they know that it could happen again to them. The impact, well, they're looking for international support. The people are coming out onto the streets, and I'll tell you where the impact is very, very visible and has evolved. There are uh, protests throughout the country. It's not just in Tehran. It's not just the cool kids coming out. We're seeing protests in all walks of life, all ages, all economic backgrounds, all social backgrounds. And for that reason, we understand that there is disenchantment across the board in Iran. And for that reason, they're asking for international support. The slogans on the streets here are very, very uh, indicative of where the people are. They're asking for Biden to support them. They're asking for the United States and the European countries not to go ahead with this deal and not to normalize relations with the Iranian people. Okay. With the Iranian government. With the Iranian government, indeed. Lisa Daftari, thank you very much for being with us this morning. We appreciate My it. My pleasure. A different angle on the Iran nuke deal or not deal. Thanks, Lisa.